Think about the last time you listened to a new artist. How long did you give it before you decided whether or not you were gonna listen any further? And what was it that made you decide to skip or stay? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to avoid the biggest and most common mistake that will cause new listeners to skip your track and never come back. A song's intro is a promise that you make to your listener. It exists as a foreshadowing of what they're about to experience. You're kinda like an audio hitchhiker, trying to convince people to let you ride with them for a little while. It's not a self-indulgent riff dump. Let's use this video as an example. You're still watching it now because you believe that what I said in the intro, I'm gonna show you how to avoid the biggest and most common mistake is what the video is going to be about, right? If I suddenly started talking about what cars get the best gas mileage, you probably wouldn't wanna keep listening because that's not what you're here to watch and you'd feel like I tricked you. It's the same thing with the song. Your goal with an intro is to give the listener a taste of what's to come, a little primer to get them excited for the song they're about to hear. It's kind of like that initial climb on a roller coaster. You get a glimpse of the rest of the ride and it builds the anticipation. For the ride you're actually about to take, it seems pretty simple, right? Then why, why, why are you still writing your intros first? Writing the intro first is an almost guaranteed way to wind up with a completely incoherent mess of a song that's gonna leave your listeners feeling betrayed. You showed them the roller coaster and you delivered the teacups. Or even worse, your song is a roller coaster, but your intro advertised the teacups, so they got off the ride before it even really started. This happens because you thought that you needed to write your song chronologically. You wrote the song the way that the listener hears it, from start to finish. But th that's a terrible way to write a song. How can you write an intro to a song that doesn't exist yet? How do you even know what you're introducing? This kind of approach almost always yields very long, boring, and even worse, completely unrelated intros. As songwriters, we need to be able to step outside of time and look at the whole song structure objectively. You're the roller coaster tycoon. You're designing the ride. You're not constricted by having to experience it linearly like someone who's riding it. Some of you might be thinking, oh, but Metallica does it. Oh, Iron Maiden does it. Taking cues from successful artists can be a great idea. But this is an area where imitating legacy bands is a bad idea. Especially if it's bands that built their audiences in a time when people had longer attention spans, there were fewer artists competing for that attention, and radio airplay and touring was the main way to break your band. You can't hit skip on the radio or at a live show the way you can on Spotify or Apple Music. And these days, I don't even have to touch anything to skip a song. Computer, skip song. What do you want to play? Sh as an unknown artist, you can't afford to make your listener work for it. You know what I mean? You really need to be putting your best foot forward, preferably right into their face. Oh, that's some good intro. If you're lucky, you might get one chance to impress people with your song, and the intro is the gatekeeper to the rest of the song. Consider the point of view of someone coming across your track. Let's say it's been suggested by some algorithm or other, or they heard about your band from a friend and they're listening to it for the first time. The intro's job is convincing them to have enough faith in you to invest some of their precious time into listening to the rest of the song. And you need to reward that faith with a payoff that the intro has set up. To not do that is to basically clickbait them with an intro that has no relevance to the rest of the song. So then, how do you introduce a song effectively? There's a million ways to do it, but if you're an unknown band or you've just started writing songs, I'm gonna give you a few bulletproof ones. Number one is to skip the intro entirely. There's nothing that says you have to have a dedicated intro, and jumping right in and getting straight to the point shows the listener that you mean business. And of course, it's also just the easiest way to do it. You just start right into the first verse, and as my friend Glenn likes to put it, JUST GET TO THE F***ING POINT! Number two is a tried and true staple of rock and metal music, and that's just to play the main riff of the song as your intro. It usually gets people pumped, and metal fans love a good riff. But here's the catch. It has to be THE riff. 
Not some random, unrelated other riff that never comes back in the song. It needs to be the primary instrumental hook that reoccurs throughout the track. Number three is probably the most on the nose way to introduce a song. You just give them the chorus right away. It's usually a less intense version of the chorus than the ones we hear later on. And maybe it's only like half or part of the chorus because it's still meant to be a bit of a tease but you can also just hit them with the full Monty. More than anything else, you need to take a hard, honest look at your song and ask yourself two questions. Is the intro a lie? And would this song be better without it? If the answer to either of these is yes, you know what to do. It's possible that you're new to writing songs and you're having a hard time knowing what to do next. If that's the case, you're definitely gonna wanna check out this next video over here where I show you how to take those riffs that you're sitting on and turn them into complete songs so that you can be a songwriter and not just a riff hoarder.